Welcome to Ecan again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to register a BMW battery. So, um, on BMWs, uh, when you replace the battery, uh, you need to at minimum register it. What that means is you got to tell the car that's like this battery got replaced, so it charges it accordingly. It doesn't overcharge it, undercharge it, cause issues. If you change the battery capacity, then you also need to quote it, meaning like you got to tell. I change from lead acid battery to AGM because the charging characteristics are different so the your BMW needs to know. So you could do both and I'm going to walk you through that uh, procedure. But if you go to maintenance from the home screen, BRT, battery registration, select BMW and then smart VIN, identify it as a BMW 7 series. On this screen, you're going to select special functions. And you can do a few things. Uh, you can, what well, we're interested in, battery registration, but you can register if your car has a battery, auxiliary battery, you can do that too. You can register lithium ion battery exchange, uh, battery support. It tells you what um, battery is already coded to the vehicle. So this might be good to kind of check if you got issues, electrical issues. Uh, you can check, like, do you have a 90 ampere hour battery installed on the car or is this value completely different? This will also be written on your battery usually um, that's installed on the car. But let's, uh, so that's what's in the car. It shows you the state of charge of the battery. So that can be helpful as well. Uh, but let's go back and register a battery. So you can play, uh, display the last battery exchange uh, but what we're interested in is option 2, register battery exchange, press 2, and here it will tell you that uh, you can do a few things. Uh, option 1, you replace the same battery, the same battery type, so if you got an AGM battery, you put an AGM battery at the same capacity. Um, if you go higher or lower capacity, you want to go with option 2, and then if you change from lead acid to AGM or another type of battery, you want to go with option 3. So let's say um, we are putting the same battery if you want to read those uh, it might ask you for battery serial number you can you can look it on the battery if you don't have it try blank if that doesn't work put zeros in there um, for for the serial number of the of the replacement battery so uh, it says the battery exchange was successfully registered and it tells you when the last one was and what mileage you got recorded now that you have the new battery in and that's it. It will set the date and time as well. So you're gonna do this as well. Press yes and press yes, okay, and that's it. That's how you register the battery. And to code it, it was that same procedure. You just would have chosen option two or three where you change the capacity of the battery. And that's all. Thank you for watching Eucanic, where you can be the mechanic.